Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by this totally awesome cool shirt I'm wearing. It has a dinosaur on it and it has all this fun purple and peachy colors to it so I was really excited about this shirt when I saw it. I got it at Goodwill the other day and I about flipped out when I saw it because I was like this is the most awesome shirt ever. Who would ever donate it? So anyways I bought it and I really don't care. It makes me really really happy to wear it. Um, I just love it. So I wanted to do a makeup look inspired by the colors on this shirt. So I wanted to play with, you know, some fun colored eyeshadows and purples and peaches and pinks um, to create a really just fun look that you could wear for really any occasion. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's jump on in. Okay, first we are going to prime our eyelids and I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair. So we're just going to put that over our eyes to conceal any like veins or anything like that and it helps our eyeshadow stick a little bit better so I'm just taking a damp beauty blender to blend that all in. Next I'm going to be taking an EcoTools eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Duo and I'm taking the lightest color in that eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to be putting that all over my entire lid just kind of creating a base. And next I'm going to be taking the Mali Royal Plum eyeshadow palette. I'm taking the shade Vicious Violet and I'm using an IT Cosmetics double airbrush foundation brush and I'm using the smaller side and I'm just applying that all in my crease to create some depth. Now I'm taking Fishnet by Urban Decay and I'm just going to take my finger because that's what I found to work best and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And just kind of rubbing that in to get the desired intensity of the color. Next I'm just going to do the same thing, same exact thing to the other eyelid. I'm just using my finger and using that Fishnet by Urban Decay eyeshadow and I'm just dabbing it in there and just dabbing it all over my lid. And I'm going to go back in with the same brush I used before to apply the violet eyeshadow and just kind of blend those together to create a more seamless look. I'm just going over it just to make sure that it's blended well and it, and it looks how I would like it to look. Now I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow sex kitten and I'm just taking my finger again and I'm just putting that in the inner corner of my eye and kind of blending that peachy shade with the purple. I'm just blending it together to create kind of a gradient effect going from peach to the purple. Next I'm going to use the same brush I used earlier, the Eco Tools eyeshadow brush and I'm just taking the NYX Sex Kitten and I'm just putting that all over the upper part of my lid towards my eyebrows. Just kind of creating more of a highlight color and I'm blending that in with the purple. Next I'm using the Bare Minerals eyeshadow palette with I'm using Mixologist and I'm taking that and I'm putting that in the very very inner corner of my eye and kind of blending that up. It's a very light color. It's a little bit lighter than the Sex Kitten by NYX and it's just creating just brightening that whole area up a little bit. And next I'm just going to take that other brush and just blend it out again. And now I'm just going back in with a little bit more of that fishnet color and just putting a little bit more pigment right on my eyelids. Next I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Matte Liner. And I'm just going to line both of my eyes. And I'm going to do, be doing a wing. I'm sorry my hand is totally blocking the view. But I'm literally just taking that point and dragging it from my inner corner out to the outer corner of my eye. And when I'm doing this, I'm just making sure that as I go, I'm going up a little bit more when I get to the outer corner of my eye to make the line a little bit thicker. So it gradually gets thicker from the inner corner of my eye to the outer corner of my eye. And now I'm going to be taking Maybelline Eye Studio, their gel liner, 
in Black is Black, and I'm taking a Smashbox angled brow brush, it's a number 12, and I'm just lining that up with my lower lash line, and I'm just, after I dipped it in the gel liner, I'm just taking it and kind of drawing a line that lines up with my lower lash line to create the, the part of my wing. And once I have that mapped out, I go back with the NYX matte liquid liner and kind of clean that up a little bit. And now I'm just connecting, connecting the two. And you can go in a little bit and kind of fix it and perfect it exactly how you want it. And now I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other eye. So as I'm dragging it across, I'm making sure that I'm going up slightly when I get to the outer corner of my eye to create a thicker line towards the outer corner because this helps connect the wing and make it look more seamless. And I'm just doing the same thing with the Maybelline gel liner and the Smashbox angled brow brush and just making sure that I create that line that matches up with my lower lash line and now I'm just connecting the wing. Next I'm going to be going in with Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I'm just putting that all over my top lashes, just kind of just getting it coated. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be putting falsies on. Next I'm taking the Ardell Lashes Glamour Lashes in Wispies Black and I'm taking my Duo Clear Adhesive eyelash adhesive and I'm just putting that light like a light kind of band all over the lash band and I kind of rub, run them back and forth to create a good curl going and I wait about 30 to 40 seconds before I put them on my eye and it's easier if you're looking down when you do this so you can just place the falsies right over top of your lash line because you want to get the false lash line and your lash line as close as possible to make them look as real as possible and once you place them on, you can kind of tweak them and make sure they go exactly where you want them. All right, next I'm going to be priming my face, and I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer to do so. And I'm just pumping it in my hand and putting it all over my face. And this just creates a nice even base for the foundation to go on. And this primer is also really nice just because it gives you such a nice, like, dewy, healthy, hydrated skin look. Next I'm going to be going in with the IT Cosmetic CC Cream in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to pump that, two, about two pumps on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to be taking one pump of the True Match Lumi L'Oreal Foundation. And that's in the shade Soft Ivory. And I'm just pumping that one pump on the back of my hand. It's a little too light for me right now. So I'm mixing those two together. And I'm taking the Paddle Foundation Brush by IT Cosmetics to apply that on my face. And it is the C3433 brush. I'm just dipping that in the foundation and putting that all over my face. Next I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just kind of get kind of pat that in and get any of the excess foundation off because we don't want to look you know, cake face or anything like that. We would just want to have, you know, some light coverage going on. Next, I'm taking um, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and kind of putting that in the areas that I want to conceal. And then on top of that, I'm just going to be putting the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer on top of that, the same one we use to prime our eyelids. And that just has a little bit more coverage. It's a little bit lighter. So just to get the ideal concealed coverage right there. And I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and just pat that all in. And we just want to make sure that we're doing little dab motions and not swiping it or else that will take off the makeup. And we want to be dabbing it into our skin, not swiping it off. Next I'm taking the Maybelline Master Fix Translucent Setting Powder and I'm putting my damp beauty blender in there and just putting that over the areas that I have just concealed. And these just sets these areas so you won't have any creasing or anything. So I'm going to do my under eyes, on my chin, my nose, and just the top of my forehead, or the bottom of my forehead. 
I was jamming out to some music. Next, I'm just going to take just any little face brush. This was just a no-name one I probably got from, like, the drugstore or something. And just wipe off any of that excess powder. Now, I'm taking the NYX Mineral Setting Powder. And that's in the shade Medium. It's a little bit darker, so I'm taking that and just setting the rest of my face, the areas that I didn't conceal, just kind of bring some color back and blend those two areas together so it's not so stark white. And I'm doing that with the comp the It Cosmetics Complexion Brush, the complexion brush, the number seven. And now I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Radiance Palette, and I'm using the shade Matte Bronze and Warmth, and I'm using that to kind of bronze my face. And I'm going in with the Milani Luminoso Blush, and I'm using that same double airbrush foundation brush, but I'm using the bigger end this time to apply my blush. Now I'm going to go back in with Fishnet, and I'm going to take that and put it all over my lower lash line, and I'm using a Smashbox Definer Brush, the number 15. And I'm just taking that and kind of putting it all over my lower lash line, kind of smoking it out to create this really nice kind of diffused look. So the top of the eye kind of matches the bottom eye. Bottom of the eye. Next, I'm going to go back in with Sex Kitten by NYX, and I'm just taking that, and I'm putting that in the inner corner of my eye on the bottom lash line, and I'm using the double-ended waterproof clay shadow liner brush. I'm just going back in with the same mascara and just putting a little bit on my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade that glow and I'm going to be taking the lightest shade sunburst and I'm taking my Tarte highlighter brush and kind of just dipping it in there and then just sweeping that over my cheekbones. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to highlight a little bit of my temples a little bit. And now I'm going in with the double-ended bamboo eyeshadow brush by Tarte. And I'm just taking the end with the longer bristles and I'm dipping that back into sunburst and just going over those areas that I've already highlighted to create a little bit more of a precise highlight. Now I'm taking a EcoTools mineral powder face brush and I'm just dipping that into the golden bronze shade in the glow kit. And I'm just putting that in the areas that I've already contoured. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown and I'm just going to just fill in my brows a little bit and define them a little bit more. One of my brows is like significantly thicker than the other and it's very annoying so I have to kind of make them look as close as they can. Unfortunately our brows are not twins but they are sisters. Now I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. So I'm just going to line them and fill them in just a little bit. I'm going to be going in with like a cream lipstick after this so that just helps it kind of go on just a little bit smoother. Now I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Tea and Cookies and I'm just putting that all over my lip. I have a little bit smaller lips, so it's a little bit harder sometimes just to get a very precise look going, so it takes a little bit longer sometimes, but this is a very nice cream lipstick. It just goes on very smooth, and it just has a nice kind of color to it. It's not too overpowering. It's a very nice kind of like pinky nude color. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit, and now I'm just going to take a gloss and this is the NYX Mega Shine lip gloss in the shade Sugar Pie and I'm just going to put that all over all over my lips just to give them a little bit of a sparkle. And now I'm just going to finish off the look with NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And voila, that is the full look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching.